Now, we have discussed almost everything in the listening machine. Really? We have discussed almost everything. But well, the discussion which we have not uh, taken here is called the types of violin. <coughs> types of winding of generator or motor both there are two types of winding that one is slab winding another is your <coughs> wave winding so before going to lap winding and wave winding we should know um, a coil pitch what is exactly the coil pitch Coil pitch is the space angle which is in electricals between its two sides and it must be an integral uh, number of, it should be equal to the integral number of slots. So it's a space angle actually. So I, I can have a diagram of space angle right now. Uh, suppose these two are my uh, conductors and I am having a full pitch coil. If it is a full pitch coil, I will be getting a full waveform of uh, uh, voltage generated or a current generated, whatever my saying is. I will be getting the full waveform. This is the full pitch coil. So now what is the short pitch coil? In the second way, if my pitch is shortened by a length n, suppose, so I will be getting generated EMF as EB as like this much only from here to here. This much only. So my EB is lessened by some amount which is called the N. So maybe possibility is required somewhere, maybe possible it's not required somewhere. EB should be as high as possible to decrease the armature current. But somehow somewhere yeah, it is required because we need to have the short pitch coils. These are called the short. Another way of defining a pitch is that if I am, my conductor is lying here under a pole, north pole, its second wiring should be 180 degree apart from it and it should come under the south pole if it is a full pitch coil. Then this angle, which as I already said is in electrical degrees, coil span is 180 degrees, it is also 180 degrees span. So it should be 180 degrees from here to here, from here to here, 180 degrees. Here also, if it is a four pole machine, if it is a four pole machine, then my coil span factor would be from here to here. This will be under north pole and this is under the south pole. This is the full pitch coil. In case when it is a four pole machine, north and south. If it is short pitch, the coil span factor here, it would be like this. It should be it will be from here to here only. Then it is a short pitch coil, which is not reaching to the next south pole. If it is a two pole, two, two uh, pole machine. Then also I can show the full pitch coil and half pitch coils. This is my coil and this coil span factor total from here to here is a full pitch coil. But if my coil is spanning from here to here only, then it's a short pitch coil. In the same way, this much of coil span is not there. My means this conductor is not coming over here, this conductor is coming over here. 
this is the short pitch. So what is the use of a short pitch coil? So the very basic use of a short pitch coil is that uh, the coil is shortened. Since the coil is shortened, then the, uh, there is a saving in the conductor material, means a uh, wiring. So uh, the cost of the machine comes down. This is not a very significantly we got the uh, we got the cost cutting. But uh, another very useful example of uh, very useful uh, thing of short pitch coil is that if it is shortened by nth, if it is shortened by nth part of the full pitch coil, then one by nth. Sorry, we can say like this that if it is one by nth part of if it is this n total. If it is one by nth part is is shortened, the uh, coil, uh, coil is shortened by one by nth part. Then the nth harmonic in output will be eliminated. Again, understanding this, if the coil is shortened by one by nth. Uh, then the nth harmonic, harmonic in the output will be eliminated. If it is 1 by 5, then the fifth harmonic will be uh, eliminated. If it is 1 by 7, then it is seventh harmonic will be eliminated in the output. So this is the uh, uh, having very good news when we are uh, we don't need to have the harmonics in the output. So now coming back to the discussion of Types of winding. There are two types of winding. One is lap winding, and another is wave winding. We we'll discuss those now. Lap winding and wave winding. Before going into that, so first of all, the coil spine comes. Coil span. Coil span is normally uh, denoted by y. In ES, Y ES, and is equal to S upon P, where S is the slots and P is the number of poles. And it, what if it is an integer is coming, then the lower integer is taken. So here, lower integer is taken. This is very important thing. If it is uh, 3.15 uh, is coming. So three will be taken. If it is uh, four point seven eight is coming, then four uh, uh, five will be taken. So it should be an integer. Here also it is as by p and lower is taken. Lower integer is taken. Now coming to back pitch. Second point is the back pitch. Back pitch is denoted by is uh, back pitch it's back pitch b is written so back pitch is written as u into y es plus of one or where u is the number of coil sides per slots where u equals to number of coil sides per slots And by ES is the coil span plus of 1. Here also it is U Y ES plus of 1 back pitch. Now coming to the third point, which is called as the uh, commutating pitch. This commutating pitch is here it is equals to plus minus 1. Here it is equals to 2 multiplied by C plus minus 1. C plus minus 1 upon P. So 
plus is for progressive binding and minus is for retrogressive binding. Now coming to front pitch, this is the part, this was the third point, and the fourth point is front pitch. What is the formula? This, these are just the formulas which we should understand, we should uh, learn them and uh, when any objective type of question is asked, so you should be having an idea about this uh, formula or not, normally not known to everybody. So I am giving these formulas directly. So front pitch is y is denoted by yf and in is equals to yb plus minus of 2, yb plus minus of 2, yb is the Cap pitch and here yf is equals to 2 of yc minus of yb. Yc is the commutating power pitch again. And these are the four formulas which are important. Now coming to the uh, some different thing which is called as the lap windings, which we, we already know that for commit, uh, lap winding, number of parallel paths A is equals to P, number of poles and for my wave bindings, the number of parallel paths A is always equals to 2 this is always equals to 2 now, again, this was the fifth thing this is the sixth thing I am talking about the sixth thing which we have studied in uh, we have done the some questions regarding uh, come, uh, the conductor current IC. Here IC is equals to number of uh, IA divided by P. IA divided by A actually. And here conductor current IC is equals to IA by 2 always. The sixth and the seventh point. The seven difference between the lap binding and wave binding is that here no dummy coil or equalizer rings are connected. No dummy coil. No dummy coil or equalizer rings are connected in the lap binding, whereas here dummy coil or your equalizer rings are required where in the wave type what is now the question arises what is called dummy coil or the equalizer ring as a wave binding is not complete in itself so, in the com not complete in itself means when I have started wiring it here, then here, then from here, 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 the wiring would be here. So, may be possible that the wiring have started from here, again it is going here, let's reach here up to here only. The wiring is finished. I started my wiring from here and I have completed it here. So, what happened? This much of wiring is left. So, what obvious when the, this rotor will start rotating, so there will be a fluctuation because uh, due to the unbalance of the rotor. So, the rotor will not be balanced at this point. When I have finished my wiring up to here and nothing is here. Here, there is nothing. So at this point, rather than putting anything, I will put a dummy coil over here. So as to have the balance of my rotor. So my rotor will be in a balance and it will be uh, rotating in a balanced manner. If not, these, these, these are not used, then there will be a fluctuation in the rotation of the rotor. So dummy coils are used in wave binding only and this is a very important point regarding objective type. Dummy calls are used in wave binding, you see, not in lab findings.